Hi there, um, just doing another video log. This is day, had the operation for the distal bicep rupture on Tuesday. So today is Sunday, six, about six o'clock Sunday morning. I had it around about six o'clock on the Tuesday night. So we saw Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, sort of five days, just a bit under, really be five days exactly would be later today but I know just a little update on movement I've got um I my fingers are a little bit more can move them still quite a lot more than I could when I last did a video which was two days after the op um I can't do any movement like that absolutely I oh, just trying that absolutely kills really hurts um still stuck in this sling absolutely no chance of getting out of it um, no chance of putting a, a normal t-shirt on or trying anything like that I have tried to take the arm out of the sling to then try and thread a t-shirt but I, it's just it's, an, it's almost like a non-starter you uh, just can't do it still having to sleep on the back with the arm elevated um, just a little note on the peptides because that's really why I'm doing this video to see how well the peptides um, work on my last video log, I was talking about the BCP157 and I, I was talking about being 250 milligrams. It's actually 250 micrograms, so I want to correct that. Um, I am going to correct that at the start of when this all goes up because I've got, I can't even operate a computer at the moment, so I can't put this up until I get to a stage of being, operate, being able to operate a computer. So when I put it up, I will correct it there. But um, yeah, because basically in a vial of in the BCP, because I want to make sure people understand this, in a BCP, you get a five milligram vial. So I, I diluted that with four milligrams of this like bathostatic water that you get. So then um, when you do the maths, it's 0 0.2 in a, in a syringe like this, 0 0.2 is 250 micrograms. Now you could probably go looking at research you could probably go for a higher dose than that i mean i'm doing that once a day you could probably do that twice a day or um if you want to just do it once a day maybe go to 400 micrograms or something but i'm actually um i'm doing 250 micrograms into the bicep here and i'm actually doing another 250 micrograms into a heel injury i've got here so in total that is sort of 500 micrograms i know it's not all it's going to two different areas, but um, there's a chance there will be some sort of like overall um, movement of it around the body. So just trying that for now, seeing how it goes. Now, yesterday I did another shot of the TB500. That was a full two milligram vial directly into the bicep. So I was interested to see what if I had much improvement between yesterday when I did that and today. And at the moment, no, there isn't any. I mean, I'll, I will know when things start to improve, when I can actually supplement this wrist a lot more, because that's where the major pain is coming from at the moment. Um, I have done, had a few incidents where I've dropped something and I've gone to reach. And although this arm's strapped up, obviously natural reaction is to, to reach. And oh, the pain that shoots down here is pretty bad still. So in terms of, between the last video and this video, in terms of actual being able to do anything with this arm, it's it's zero still. But like I say, we are five days in. Um, I'm about to do another shot of the BCP157 into my bicep. I'm happy to um, do this to demonstrate now. I've actually um, cleaned this area already. I've preloaded this with there is actually 0.4 um, CLs in there, um, which would equate to 500 micrograms of BCP157, but half's going in the bicep and half is going to my heel. So as you can see, I mean, I, I do have to use this hand a little bit for things, and but just you, what, what I'm finding really difficult is actually getting the caps off these things because you have to use a little bit of force and I don't want to wreck the needle while I'm doing it, so I'm sort of going to wiggle it Wiggle it off. Ah, oh, there you go. Suddenly, sometimes they fly off and it jolts this arm and that can be pretty painful. So um, I'm just gonna pop that up so it's almost at the top. And 
and uh, what we're going to do, i use my tattoos as a bit of a guide, but I want to get, I've, got, I've actually got like some sort of plaster going on here, so I don't know if I had another, I don't know yet if I've got, if I've got another cut up the top here, but basically we just, let me go for around about this point here. That's it. I wanted it to want to go in, that one didn't. Okay, so that's in. Just drawing back slightly, make sure we're not in anything nasty like a blood vessel, which we're not. And then if I turn this around so I can actually see the scale, I'm just going to go down to, take that down to 0 0.2 there. So I'm open half of it. Okay, about there. Take that back out again. A little rub and that's it for the injection for today i'll um i'll do an update video probably in another it's there's not much going on here in terms of like relief so maybe when i get a maybe get another step on i'll do another video